good morning from Peterhead. Today we're heading up to uh, Wick. We were meant to be going to Orkney, um, but we had quite a lumpy ride up here yesterday with a large following sea. So we're gonna try and tuck in around the corner from Peterhead, get some shelter, and get up to Wick, and then Thursday jump across Orkney when the moment occurs. All right, let's go and have a shower. Let's check out how good these things are. This is the toilet facilities building from Peterhead. It's a little marina. The town is all the way over there. It's quite far. These are pretty bloody. Right. Toilets. I can't get them to work. The lights. It's like your old school toilets. Similar sort of attire. But in very good clean condition. Shower works well, a hot shower, two cubicles. So, warm, clean, old, but nothing wrong with old. Just had Rob come over for Phil's boat. Um, yesterday had a fuel surge problem, engine sort of hunting, up and down. Um, so he's in there on the port side engine, having a little look, changing the fuel filter. Phil's just doing a, uh, a light fuel ch filter changeover. No cabinetry really has to be removed. <laughs> and yeah. Half the boat's missing. It'd <laughs> be a lot easier to get to if I kept all the furniture out. Yeah. So, Phil's basically had this port side engine uh, yesterday, it was hunting. Now hunting means, um, so you're sitting at 2000 RPM like, uh, it would drop down 300 RPM, uh, just all by itself, no one touching the throttles. Now, textbook generally says it's a technical phrase, fuel. Um, Phil's drained the fuel off, which is, do you wanna pass out a bucket there please? Just behind that thing. That one there. Yeah. That wasn't too bad, Phil. We've had worse than that. Over, so, I know. a few little black You'd bits in there. Your yeah, <laughs> but there's bugger all in there. Nothing that's of great concern, really. Um, I just looked up there. So, we're hoping that's the issue and not a, a weeping hose or something more pain. Uh, While well, we're in the spirit of things, <laughs> we've just seen inside of Phil's engine bay. Yeah, fill the nav as uh, going down to spec inspect our engine. Okay, so P to head. That will be, it looks like P, is actually pure water. It's come out of our fuel filter housing. Then you can see the red diesel above and the gunk in the bottom of that. And then in here, is our fuel filter, which should be like a whitish yellow sort of colour. Absolutely caked in gunk. Good job we did that fuel filter change. That is a comparative to Phil's, Phil's fuel filter. You can see the amount of crap in it. Here's the bottom of the screen, and my one, top of the screen. Yeah, Neil's always got to do better. You just attract more crap, don't you? Neil? Hi Rob, welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> So the plan today is we're in Peterhead. Um, we're gonna go past Fraserbury. Bury? Fraserbury. Fraserbury. Um, and then we're gonna cross this little bay here, which some people call the Pentland Forth. Firth. Pentland Firth. Up to Wick. So we'll see how we get on today. Temptation is just to jump across to Orkney. But if the weather's fine and the tides, the tides through here are quite notoriously bad, um, we might not manage that today. Wednesday morning and we're now leaving Peterhead. And we had a nice evening uh, in the Palace Hotel last night and a bite to eat. Um, nicer today, brighter, a bit blue sky. So that was Peterhead and onwards today to Wick rather than um, the Orkney Islands. Uh, we're just passing the uh, Fraser Brough Point, um, which is our last land for uh, 
um, until we get across the uh, Petliff uh, to Wick. Uh, the sea is lovely and calm. It's cruising 16, 17 knots. Life's good. Welcome to the Moray first. Beautiful. So we've made the decision. We're, we're going to get to this corner here, and then going to change course at the windmills, and then. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, All right, go they're gonna, that's the pen flies. Yeah, yeah. How long is your biro estimating it's gonna take us to get to? That's not the right scale. Oh, my computer's not to the right scale. Yeah, the proper chart, not this one. Yeah. That's about six hours cruising. Six hours. Yeah. Yeah, we're not pounding six hours, but then we've already done. Changed a lot, the waves have picked up. It's on the bow, it's not too bad. Very close together. April Rose, April Rose, Juan de V, are you receiving? Phil doesn't seem to be up for odds with the radio. Now I've managed to hold a Phil on the phone. Um, so we're veering off now. We'll try and seek some shelter. It's not Pretty rough out here, big seas. And we could always head to Wick and grab a sandwich as soon as it's not going to be late. Yeah, but let's see what it's like when we get in under that headland. Sorry, Colin's just trying to sort his cover now where he's wet the bed again, I think. Colin! What's he doing in bed? What's happened now? Got some big buggers here. So uh, we've ended up in Wick. Um, don't know how much what got recorded there. We've got Bloomin' Lumpy coming up. Uh, the wind's picked up a lot more than predicted. Um, so we're in Wick. Uh, not sure how long we're going to be here. I'm going to go and see the hard mast now, take some advice uh, when, what, certainly tides and weather. An evening in Wick. Push the buzzer. I'll push the buzzer, Phil. Tell you what, he wonders why he doesn't get paid. Considering on a professional trip. Accidentally He's found shopping. a weather spoon. We've been shopping. Obviously the other boat are waiting for us to get back from shopping. But Phil found. A pint. Sorry, Phil. Can we have a cheers, please? Cheers! Cheers! Cheers, cheers and wick. Cheers, wick. Cheers and wick. And tomorrow, where are we going? Oh, no. No, wrong answer. With, with the spoons? Colin. Possibly from this in the Orkney Islands. Correct answer. Scott Flo, another great Scott site. Flo. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the Big O. Big O. And everyone loves the Big O. Oh, yeah. Phil's paint tonight, so. Uh, I've got a Three course meal, Condon Bleu. Cheers. Right, here we are. In the town centre of Wick. On the way to our Condon Bleu, Mackey's Hotel, which is there. The word from the locals is not to go in this front door. Go down the one way street and carry on the side. Mackay's. So here we are in Mackay's. And okay. we've just had okay, a ruddy good meal. What a top meal. Top, top meal, lovely stuff. Um, so Mackay is very famous 
because there is something called the world's shortest street. Where's my car here? Where's the world's shortest street, start and finish? You're on it. Here we are. So, and this is certified by a Guinness World Record. Thank you. Thank you. You're on the shortest street. And this street starts there. And finishes behind Collins and Leg. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Have a good trip. It's two point zero five meters long. Right, cheers, Paul. See you later, guys. Cheers. Thank you. So, night out in a wick. Tomorrow morning we're setting off early, seven o'clock to the fuel berth. Uh, we're leaving half seven, 13 miles up to uh, the main headland, which is called what boys? Uh, yeah, yeah, Cape Roth. No, wrong. Um, the, the top pointy bit of Scotland. <laughs> right, we'll see you in the morning. GRP Marine are Jersey's premier fiberglass specialists, specializing in structural and cosmetic repairs. Anything you need doing repair-wise on your boat, give them a call. Color matching, repairing scratches, keel band fitting, painting, anti-fouling, even valeting. GRP Marine are the one-stop shop. Give GRP Marine a call. Good morning from Wick. These are the uh, shed toilets that everyone become accustomed to. Um, they've obviously been extended and built recently because they are absolutely stunning in Wick. Brand spanking new. Good marina facilities. So um, today we're off to Orkney. Um, Going to try and cross the Pentland Firth at Slack, which would be nice. We tried it yesterday in a uh, northwesterly five with tide and that was a little bit emotional so leg 10 wick to orkney only a short top to be fair but um what is meant to be some of the most notorious rough seas so uh let's give it a go wick phil's just been down that green stuff is water. That's how much water we had in one day's traveling filter. Um, well, they've burnt a lot of volume, but still, that's a lot of water. You don't want water going into the engine, it damages the whole injection system, and also it doesn't burn, I'm not steam powered. So, uh, that is worthwhile checking every day. Ah! Someone leave their washing out last night, oh, Phil. I did, yes, and look at the rain. Oh, such a shame. Such a shame. Must but have been that last Calvados. On was... other good news, we found our mat. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Where was it? Phil had put the carpet back down over it. <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry wrong, about that, Phil. Wrongly accusing you. I expect a better apology than that. <laughs> So we're just coming out of the fuel berth, we're going back into the harbour. What we don't want to do is to come in here, cut this corner short, which is this little obvious corner, just in there. We're going over there. But you've got to come down the channel, which is dredged. Unfortunately, April Rose this morning came out casual, and as one would do, to be honest you, unfortunately they've struck a rock. It is low water, we left over the low, if we left over the high, we, you know, you can't see the rocks. There's no head sticking out. But, you just hit something on that. Oh, Philip. First opportunity to see the damage. We've got fellow damage, keel damage. We've got some port propeller damage by the look of it. At least we've got, obviously got some midships keel damage as well. So here we are underneath April Rose. So you can see there's a, a ding in the prop there. Uh, 
and that one there. And the whole section of this here is bent as well. Anyway, yeah, it's not too bad actually. And then Porn that is She doesn't turn, not about a great deal of forcing. The main key thing is that check the shaft's not bent, which it might be tight in here or here, pressure. We'll check that we haven't bent this whole thing here. Uh, this is called the P-bracket, very important part of the boat, very strong, um, but very time consuming to repair a P-bracket. Prop, we think we've got that sorted. We've got a someone who is a four hour driveway, but someone who's willing to get us going, fixed. We're just trying to find a higher car. But yeah, this here is, oh, I physically can't turn it. And if you watch the other side, so this one here, you can just turn with your fingers, nice and easy. Um, and then superficial sort of damage, the keel band, well, that live section there has been ripped off. And then the bolts are hanging out. So they're probably just going to remove that section. There's already a joint there. Uh, so remove that. Glass the bolt holes back. Just so we don't get any leaks or ingress of water. So, that's April Rose. Currently on the hard in Wick. But plans are being made to get her back in the water. Yeah. So, uh, what are you doing here, Rob? Uh, sanding down this so we can put a new seal between the fiberglass glass and the bronze. Right, so basically, we've uh, adjusted the angle of the P bracket when it got hit. Um, so, it was actually rubbing on the shaft, which would cause quite a lot of friction, which would have been causing further damage. So, to prevent further damage, we've had to bend the P bracket back a bit. Uh, but that loosens the fiberglass and loses on to the brunt. So the boy's going to put a small layer of fiberglass over the existing fiberglass and onto the P bracket just to create a better seal. So, Phil, what are you going for you? A new Christmas present? Oh, yeah, shiny baby. Uh, Will we leave the label on when we put it in? Or? Yeah. Will we leave the label Look at the work. Yeah. This has been done very well. Tell you what, she needs to do the other side now. <laughs> the lubing's done, mate. Right, let's keep. Right, so gently, Phil, and we're going to turn it as it goes in, please. Right, to me. Okay, turn. Okay. Right, okay, that'll do. Right, just do a couple of turns, please. Oh, that's nice. That looks pretty sweet. That looks good. Right, okay, so stay there. Right, now. Okay. And you see there. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Again. Stop. Oh. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Right, that's it. Now. All the hard work I've been doing, look. Yeah. So you join right. us you join us at this late stage for what? Um, um, Sorry, so obviously being here, integral part of the repair. Yeah. Um, I can't even get the span on the bloody nut. This man, Richard. Big thanks to you, sir. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, yeah Richard. Richard. Helped us out a lot. He yeah. brought a load of tools down. Helped Goes us. Lifts. Well, and everything. Lifts, cleaning out. Yeah. Good community spirit. So we've had the propeller repaired um, in Bucky. The shaft has been checked, the shaft is fine. The keel, uh, Colin's been in there and uh, cut it off the bit that was broken. They believe they've bonded up and closed. Phil's boat, we've built the crane for tomorrow morning. Um, actually, today's been quite a windy day, so we, won't be, we wouldn't have been going too far in any case today, so not really a day lost. Plan is tomorrow morning, test Phil's boat off to be craned it in, if all good. We're gonna have a long day because the weather forecast is looking poor. Um, so we're gonna head up to Orkney Islands for a pint, as we said we always would. And then we're gonna head all the way around past Cape Wrath and try and tuck in down there. Um, try and get into the islands, 
probably a 10 hour day tomorrow. All things going well. Let's go into Phil's bar. Karaoke and a spot of night. Spain. Hello, Naf, Naf and play ball. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, useless. Roddy. Thanks for watching. We undertook this journey to raise funds for Prostate Cancer UK, so any donations would be greatly appreciated. You can find the link to donate in the description below. A special thanks to our sponsors, GRP Marine. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date and to follow the rest of our journey around Britain. Thanks for watching, we'll see you on the sea.